Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to bring you another Magic Leap video. In this video, we're going to be implementing a weapon controller that is going to basically allow us to shoot at different targets. Not only that, but we're going to be able to also change our weapons and that component is a component that I created for the Oculus Quest. So what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be incorporating that into our game and seeing what we can do to refactor it to make it work with the Magic Leap. So let's jump into Unity and I'll start working on it. All right, guys. So let me show you what we're going to be doing, which is to create a component that is going to allow us to use a weapon. So what I have right now, this is the scene that I worked on last time. I show you how to create selectable objects. We also went through creating grabbables and each of them has different states. So what I'm going to do for the weapon controller is I'm going to incor incorporate one scene that I that I created previously for the Oculus Quest, but because these assets are created and, and actually have to be purchased by Cinti Studios and they're the creators, I'm not going to be able to incorporate those assets into our game. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put placeholders. So what we have right now, it's going to work exactly in Magic Leap, as long as you have, you know, something that resembles, you know, a weapon. So let me show you how these things work so that, you know, you have an idea of how it works in the Oculus Quest. So right now, if I were to hit the space key, you can see that we are shooting. And then the targets are, you know, reacting to the bullets that we're shooting. I can also, I could also rotate the weapon if I wanted to. So if I go in here and I were to change this, it's going to change the direction of the bullets. So what I want to do is I want to do something similar. And also like if I hold the, if I press the right key on my keyboard, I'm basically toggling through different weapons. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do something similar in Magic Leap, except we're not going to use these models. We're just going to create our own models and they're going to be just placeholders, like I said, and then you can change them, you know, as you wish. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to bring some of that code over to my other project. So I have two projects right now. This one is the one for Magic Leap, and this is the one that I'm using for the Oculus Quest development. So what I'm going to do first is I want to clone this scene because I'm going to be using some of the components here as well. So let me let me go ahead and do that first. So we're going to go into scenes. We're going to look at the grabbable scene, and I'm just going to clone that scene. And then this one we can just say weapon weapon controller and then I can just double click to open it. And then what I'll do here is I need most of it to be honest, but I don't need some of the sub components. So what I'm going to need here is the the only thing that I'm going to need from the content. It's going to be one of the content controller, one of the controller debuggers because I'm going to need that for testing the weapon. And then I don't need anything else in here other than the controller left. I think that's a good start for now. So we're basically going to have just the, you know, the controller left here and also the one that we're using to just for debugging purposes. And then I'm just going to basically change the X, Y, and Z. And then we can offset it a little bit so that we we're now colliding with the real controller. Okay. So I think, I think this works fine. Then what I'm going to do is the canvas is also offset. I don't want that to be offset. I'm going to go ahead and set it back at 0, 0, 0. And we can, in fact, just change. Let me make sure that the rotation is also at 0. And then we can go back a little bit. I think that works. So what I need to do here is we're going to need to bring in some of the scripts that I have on the other project. And the scripts are also are actually fairly simple. They're not, they're not that complicated. So let me show you, I'm just going to resize a couple of things here so we can see, we can see everything. And then let me just move the inspector. In fact, let me just reset the layout because this layout does not make any sense. Okay. I like that layout much better. And then I'm going to expand the game. We're going to look at the control. So this control right here is the one that we're using for the Oculus Quest. And it uses a, a VR player controller and then a VR camera rig. So if you're developing for the Oculus Quest and you want to go into Magic Leap, this is going to be very useful for you because this is basically what you would be doing if you had to move some of the things over. All right, so I think we're good here. So if we look at this controller right now, 
we have the OVR, OVR manager. Okay, so that's not what we want. What we want, it's going to be the right anchor, the right controller anchor. And then let me go ahead and look at one of the weapons. Okay, there we go, that's what we want. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a weapon controller a script. And I believe that's the only thing that I, that I need here. I also need a bullet which has a ray cast. So I'm also going to be bringing that e into the other into the other scene. So I think this is going to take a while if I show you everything that needs to be done. So I think I'm going to break this video into phases. The first phase is going to be bringing in some of the scripts and getting them with placeholders. And then on the next video we can refine some of those placeholders and actually you know make it look like more like what we're seeing right here. I can probably use you know a a component that it's going to use it's going to look more like a weapon but at the beginning it's just going to be placeholder so we'll have two to three videos for these for these series and then by the end you should have something that works really well for you to you know to select weapons change weapons and start shooting at different targets so let's go ahead and bring some of these weapons some of these components over so right now i have a weapon controller manager a weapon controller and also a bullet controller this one is the one that allows me to, the manager is the one that allows me to change between between guns. This is the one that controls the gun and this is the one that, that basically has behavior on the bullet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my finder and I'm gonna keep that here. So let's go into scripts and then what I'll do is we need, for the most part, we're gonna need, we're actually gonna need three of them. And then I'll go back into my Unity folder and then find my magic leap essentials and then we'll go into assets and we'll go into scripts and then i'm just going to paste them in there so we're going to have we're just going to need to change a couple of things on the namings but i think for the most part we should be okay all right so now i'm going to go into the code and then we're going to look at a couple of things so let's go ahead and refactor some of these just to make sure that everything is clean so the weapon controller I'm going to go ahead and make a few changes. So actually, I don't even have namespaces to be, I thought I did, so I don't have a namespace, and which is great because that way I don't really need to, to change some of the structure. So one of the things that I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need to change the input. So this is coming from OVR input, get down, and this is basically for the controller on the Oculus Quest. So obviously in this case, I don't have that. So we're gonna have to remove this. And then I'll just add a to-do here that we need to come back to this. Come back to this and, and wire, what we can say connect to the Magic Leap device. All right, I think that's, that's a good start. And then I think everything else, it's good. Let me see what this is complaining about. That's complaining about, let's see, the type con weapon controller in blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's because I just copy them. I, I need to let Unity recompile everything. But for the most part, this should work. I have the awake method that gets the weapon controller. I have my update. I just need to add a binding to the controller, the Magic Leap controller. And then this allows me to basically toggle and select different weapons. So we're sh we should be good there. And then on the weapon controller, let me check everything here just to make sure so the same thing here this is going to be for me for me to shoot the weapon the so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go back and say okay we're going to use the space key on the keyboard to shoot but i, I also need to come back here so i'm going to just copy the comment that we added and then we'll do this in the next video so for this one we're just going to keep it simple and just bring in the implementation and then i'll check it in and you can look at the implementation on your own time as well through by looking at my GitHub repo. So I think everything here looks fine. And now if I go to the bullet controller, I think everything else looks fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close and let me go ahead and let me go ahead and make sure that this is going to compile. So if I hit play, everything should compile and we shouldn't really have any errors. So it looks like everything is compiling. So the next thing that I need is I'm gonna need basically a placeholder for the gun. So in this case, we can treat this model as the gun that we're gonna be using. I think that's okay for the, you know, for the demo that I need to do. So we can just say that this one is going to be the, the controller debugger. We can call it weapon 
controller debugger or we can just simply just leave it as controller debugger i think that's okay and then as you can as you notice this has the grabber implementation i'm not going to need that in here i'm not going to need the grabber debug either and i do need i i don't really need the collider to be honest either in this case so we can remove it so we're just going to have something very simple that has the controller connection handler and then the next thing that i'm going to need is i'm going to need something that is going to allow me to toggle between weapons so i need to add a weapon manager so i'm going to just create a new empty this one is going to be the weapon controller manager and then we're just going to put that on the very top awesome and then this one you know thinking about it it is going to be our, our weapon so i'm just going to say this is our weapon controller debug right and that's okay and then i'll go ahead and move it inside of this i want to make sure that this is a zero 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 and then what's going to happen is i'm going to have multiple of them because these are going to be multiple weapons this is going to be weapon two and this is going to be weapon three we're going to do the same structure on our controller but for now we're just going to keep it just here okay so one of the things that i'm going to need here is i'm going to need the actual manager so i'm just going to say okay search for manager bring it in and then we have the weapon controller manager so then the next thing that i'm going to need if we look at this implementation let me make sure that everything everything is good and this is going to be this is a private okay yeah i think this is fine so i, I thought i had to add it to the inspector but what's going to happen is because if this is a parent it's going to look at the children and look at any weapon controller that it has so that's what these ones are going to be this one is going to have a, basically a weapon controller and then this one is also going to have a weapon controller and then we're going to need a bullet prefab and also a weapon that is going to be the one that we're using to just to know when the bullet is going to be starting from so what i'm going to do here is in this case the weapon is going to be itself there's really no so we could either do that or we can say that the weapon is going to be the body which is the one that has the most so if you look at if i were to move this weapon a little bit here and we go into the body and i uncheck that you're going to see that's the one that has most of the basically the 3d mesh so what i'm going to do is in this one i'm just going to say okay my my weapon is going to be that model and then on this one, I'm going to do the same thing. The bullet, we can do something very simple. So we can go into prefabs and we can look at, let me see what I have here. So this is for fire. Okay, so it looks like I don't have anything here that resembles kind of like a bullet. So let me go back here and what I'll do is I'll create a new model. And then I'll just call it, it's going to be a sphere and it's probably going to be 0 0.05 or something really small i think something like that it's even even too big let's do 0 0.03 0 0.03 0 .03, and 0 0.03 okay so i think something like that works so we'll just call this one the bullet and let me just make sure that the other component what it had so that we we keep it we keep it consistent let me open my other project look at my prefabs look at my bullet and then all we really need here is a rigid body and a sphere collider, which we already have a sphere collider, so I'm just gonna add a rigid body. And let me make sure that everything is good. And then we're just gonna freeze the rotation. We don't want that bullet to rotate. You really won't be able to tell anyways. Okay, so I think that looks good. And then the next thing that I need in here is I'm gonna, let's collapse the mesh, the rigid body, and then I'll just add that component, the bullet controller. And then everything else here, should be okay this is the impulse and then i think i have most most of them are going to be the same we can say that the rate cast is going to start at 10. that's going to be the rate cast that this uses when it needs to detect collision with another object okay so i think i think i'm good with that bullet so i'm just going to go ahead and save it here and i'm going to remove it from here and in fact i need to change the position i don't want that to, to start at a different value other than zero in z and okay so i think that's good i'm gonna delete it make sure that that bullet has started at zero make sure that everything is clean all right so then the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into my weapon controller drag and drop the bullet prefab on the first one and also do it on the second one and let me go ahead and do that okay so i think that it's everything i think that's gonna get us going to to what i need to show you on the next video so for now, just know that this weapon controller that we have right here 
it's going to control these two different weapons and in fact let me change this one it's going to be that and then the real controller I'm going to offset because this is going to be the one that is this is like one that is going to run in Magic Leap this is the one that we're going to use for troubleshooting in the editor so in the next video I'm going to show you what we need to do on the controller left to make it look like the weapon controller and also how we can test the weapon controller manager to make sure that everything is going to work well within the Magic Leap device. Thank you guys. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time and if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers and also find me in patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much guys.